Wide Column Store is a type of NoSQL database, but it also resembles a relational database. A wide column database consists of multiple tables, and each table has a key and a column family. The key is unique and used to identify individual rows in the table. Each column family is named and can contain one or many columns. The columns that belong to a column family can vary across rows, unlike how a relational database works. Wide columns can also store multiple versions of each value marked with a timestamp, and you use this timestamp in a query to find older values if needed, and the most recent version is selected if no timestamp is provided. Wide column databases require fast reads and writes, so they save a new version with a timestamp rather than updating a value. They also require high volumes of data coming in. And compared to other NoSQL databases, wide column databases have a complex data model where data is structured in multiple columns grouped in column families. They also have a flexible schema where the columns within each family are not fixed, but column families are fixed. And for data access, in addition to just having a key to access the data, wide column databases also need a table name, a key, a column family name, column names, and, and an optional timestamp. Similar to most common NoSQL databases, wide column databases also replicate data and eventually become consistent, shard, and scale horizontally. And each shard contains sorted rows with a range of key values. Popular column databases are Bigtable, which is the first ever wide column database created by Google. There's HBase, which is an open source wide column database created by Apache. And there's also Cassandra, which is an open source wide column database by Apache. And that's similar to HBase, but it cannot make updates to replicas.